This video will be an introduction to thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is the study of work, energy, and heat. And so in chemistry, we're going to be particularly interested in looking at this energy transfer for thermodynamics. So we might be interested in a chemical reaction and how much energy is stored in the reactants versus the products. So heat is just a type of energy. So it would be thermal energy. So there are lots of ways that energy can be transferred, but one of the ways that we're able to monitor for chemical reactions is the transfer of heat. So if heat is being transferred, we need to define a system and a surroundings. So the system in chemistry is generally a chemical reaction. So our system equals a chemical reaction of interest, and everything else would be the surroundings. So so that would be the beaker the chemical reaction is taking place in, the solution, the solvent that the chemical reaction is taking place in, the air, everything else is the surroundings, and just this, the chemical reaction would be the system. So this figure here on the left shows how the system can either transfer heat to the surroundings, that would be this top one right here, or the system can absorb heat from the surroundings. So we're going to look into that further with what happens when we run a chemical reaction. So in order to look at a chemical reaction, we can use calorimetry, which just allows us to monitor heat exchange. in a given chemical reaction. So this picture from your book here is a coffee cup calorimeter. So the idea is that we take these two coffee cups that are insulated so that any heat that's exchanged hopefully stays in your system. It's not a perfect system, but it does allow for a good approximation, and we'll actually do this in the lab later. So what happens is you have in here your solution with your chemical reaction, and you're stirring it, and you're measuring the temperature of the solution. So you can monitor this way whether heat energy was absorbed by the chemical reaction from the solution or whether it was given off by the chemical reaction to the solution. And so we're going to do this in the lab and we'll be able to determine some of the thermodynamic properties of a given chemical reaction by monitoring that change in the surroundings, the solution. A more fancy and precise way to do this is to use a bomb calorimeter. So a bomb calorimeter is what we use to get a very accurate reading of the temperature change in a given solution. So this is basically a fancier coffee cup calorimeter. It is completely sealed off from the atmosphere, so none of that heat can escape. It all goes into the solution. So we get a very accurate reading of the temperature change in the solution. But it's the same thing. You've got a solution with your chemical reaction, and it will either give off heat to the surroundings, the, the solution, or it will absorb heat from the surroundings, the solution. Um, and we just have a sealed, tight system so that we can get that information. And we'll learn in class how to calculate uh, the actual change in energy, the heat exchanged per chemical reaction using calorimetry.